Hey, and welcome back to Wild Mythology, the channel where we discover the mysteries of myth, folklore, and legends. As always, I welcome you to the channel with bread and salt. Today's video is going to be the first video in our new series called Pokemon and Mythology. For this series, we're going to take a god, goddess, hero, or creature from mythology and decide which six Pokemon they would have on their Pokemon team. And for this video, we're going to do a god from Greek mythology. That's right, we're going to decide on Zeus's team. For those unfamiliar with Pokemon, a trainer can only carry up to six Pokemon at a time. If they want another Pokemon on their team, they have to substitute out one of their current six. Alrighty then, before we begin, let us know in the comments which Pokemon you think Zeus should have. Now, with that out of the way, let's get to the Pokemon team of Zeus. First, we have to understand a bit about Zeus before we choose his team. Zeus is the Greek god of the sky, lightning, thunder, law, and order. He's also king of the Greek gods. With two of his domains being the sky and lightning, I would right away categorize Zeus as a trainer who specializes in flying-type Pokemon and electric-type Pokemon. In Greek mythology, Zeus's weapon of choice is a thunderbolt, so our first Pokemon for Zeus's team is going to be Manetric, the discharge Pokemon. Manetric is a pure electric-type Pokemon that can discharge electricity from its mane, causing thunderclouds to suddenly appear. A Manetric is a perfect fit for Zeus, since not only does it resemble a lightning bolt, but it also has the ability to easily form thunderclouds as well as throw electric attacks at its opponents. To top it off, Manetric is one of the few Pokemon that has the ability to Mega Evolve during battle. In Manetric's Mega Form, it resembles a Lightning Bolt even more than in its original form. It also gains more power and the ability to move at the speed of Lightning, thus being the perfect ace for Zeus's team. For Zeus's second Pokemon, we decided on Braviary, the Valiant Pokemon. Braviary is a dual normal and flying type Pokemon that resembles a Bald Eagle. Braviary are said to be noble, brave Pokemon that will act aggressively against those that try to harm their friends. Those that do harm to their friends are quickly found and brought to justice. We chose Braviary because the eagle is one of Zeus's symbols, and in mythology, the eagle is Zeus's favorite animal to transform into. He used his eagle form to abduct his future cupbearer, Ganymede and he sent his own personal eagle to eat Prometheus's liver every day in punishment for the titan giving humans fire. For Zeus's third team member, we chose Electivire, the Thunderbolt Pokemon. Electivire is a pure electric-type Pokemon that focuses on physical attacks. Electivires have amazing electrical energy output, and on contact, they are able to let loose 20,000 volts of electricity. They can stand up to almost six feet tall and have great strength, increasing their physical abilities. An Electivire can also control its two tails with incredible precision, allowing it to bind its opponents and give them a great shock. Electivire is pretty much the heavy hitter of Zeus's team. It can absorb and unleash a great amount of electricity, making it an essential member to the Thunder God's roster. Since we have two really great electric-type Pokemon on Zeus's team, we now need a second flying type. So, for Zeus's fourth Pokemon, we have Salamance, the dragon Pokemon. Salamance is a dual dragon and flying-type Pokemon that loves flying through the air. Because of its dragon typing, Salamance has some great ranged attacks, such as Dragon Breath and Flamethrower. And because of its flying type, Salamence can easily maneuver quickly through the air. With Zeus being the king of the sky, it would make sense for him to have a Salamence, since it only ever stops flying once it's truly exhausted. Like Manectric, Salamence also has the ability to Mega Evolve. In its Mega form, Salamence becomes even more aerodynamic, and its speed greatly increases, allowing it to blink right into its opponent's guard. For Zeus's fifth team member, we have to explore the myth of Zeus and Leda. Leda was a beautiful queen of Sparta who caught the attention of Zeus. So Zeus took the form of a majestic swan and seduced the queen. That night, Leda was also intimate with her husband. Sometime later, Leda laid two eggs, and when the eggs hatched, four children emerged, two of which were the demigod children of Zeus, and two who were the mortal children of Leda's husband. So, based on this myth, Zeus's fifth Pokemon is Swana, 
the Swan Pokemon. Swanna are dual water and flying type Pokemon and are very proud of their appearance. They're known to be amazing dancers and can fly through the toughest weather when they migrate over the seas. Zeus would definitely have a Swanna on his team in remembrance of his time with Lita. That now brings us to Zeus's final team member. The sixth member we chose is Ditto, the transforming Pokemon. Ditto is a special Pokemon that has the ability to transform into any Pokemon in front of it. It's also the breeder Pokemon since it can be bred with any Pokemon that breeds. I feel like Ditto is a no-brainer and is the perfect reflection of Zeus since the Thunder God loves transforming into different forms and loves being intimate and having children with different women. So here it is, Zeus's full team of Pokemon. Manetric, Braviary, Electivire, Salamence, Swanna, and Ditto. We also have some possible substitutions Zeus could use. The first is Pidgeot, another dual normal flying type that has amazing speed in the air and a pretty awesome looking mega evolution form. The second is Tauros, a pure normal type Pokemon. In mythology, Zeus transforms into a bull to carry away Europa, and when he's with Eo, he transforms her into a heifer in order to hide her away from his wife Hera. So a bull Pokemon would definitely make sense on Zeus's team. Well, with that, I would say we're pretty much wrapped up. Who's that Pokemon? <laughs> you thought we were done, but we still have to go over which legendary Pokemon Zeus would have. And when it comes down to it, there can only really be two choices for Zeus. The first is Zapdos, the electric Pokemon. Zapdos is a dual electric flying type Pokemon that resembles the Thunderbird from Native American mythology. It's extremely strong and can cause thunderstorms with just a single flap of its wings. Zapdos would work very well for Zeus since it's both an electric type and flying type. Zeus is preferred typing. It also gains power when struck with lightning, which would allow Zeus to easily power it up. A second possibility for Zeus is Thunderous, the Bolt Strike Pokemon. Like Zapdos, Thunderous is also a dual electric flying type Pokemon and packs a lot of voltage. Thunderous has two possible forms, and in both of them he enjoys shooting lightning and causing destruction, something the Greek god of thunder also sometimes enjoys. And there you have it. We have now covered Zeus's Pokemon team and which legendary he would catch. If you think we missed a Pokemon Zeus should have, let us know in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it and subscribe to keep updated on all our future content. And with that, we'll see you next time on Wild Mythology.